Hey, welcome back to Checkpoint. My name is Jeremy Rogers. And I'm Matthew Yap. Well, uh, how do you do, fellow Blink-182 fans? I'm pretty good. How are you, old man Rogers? I'm doing all right. <laughs> Back hurts. Yeah. But have you heard about the group's former lead singer, Tom DeLonge's Multimedia UFO Research Center? I have not. But neither have many people. A fact that has created several problems for his company's bottom line. Yeah. Recent SEC filings have shown that Launch to the Stars Academy of the Arts and Sciences, that's a real thing, an organization dedicated to the study of unresolved mysteries of the universe, through the publication of books, music, and films, took on a heaping $37 million of debt. That's like two college semesters. The bulk of all that was racked up back in 2017. Or about how much we have to pay to license that meme. Yes. Uh, the organization has had a few successes since its founding in 2014. Uh, they've released a couple of albums and books that are still available for sale on their website. Uh, more recently, Delange launched his Secret Machines Initiative, secret with a K of course. Super cool. Uh, which was planned to include books, music, and films featured on To The Stars. The first book, titled Chasing Shadows, released in 2016, and its sequel, A Fire Within, released just this past September. Unfortunately, that may be the end of the titular trilogy, as the star's financial situation is threatening to shut down all ongoing projects. But hey, what are your thoughts on the whole situation? Is this a plot to cover up important UFO information? Yes. Let us know in the comments down below. For all your entertainment tech and pop culture news, be sure to subscribe to Byte BSU and stay up to date with us on Checkpoint. Go. I'm very proud of her. Thanks. I think it's, uh, hello fellow kids. Hello fellow kids. And just throw it down. I like cameras here. It's my favorite camera. But you know what else I like? Sam Smith.